Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036359, 0703 768119. Email address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website at www.livingseed.org. Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. We bless you for bringing us together. We thank you for the matter you started raising with us yesterday. Cultivating personal anointing. Father, this morning we have come again. We will not let you go unless you bless us. We don't have another means by which we can operate except you help us. We ask you, O oh God, stretch forth your hand towards our lives. Visit us particularly in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we ask that we will increase your outpouring on our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you for this opportunity to study together and to walk in your presence. In Jesus Christ's name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Please be seated. Please be seated. Thank you for coming back this morning. We are trusting that God will help us. Yesterday we began to look at cultivating, pursuing a personal anointing for what God has called us to do. And then we noted that even our Lord Jesus Christ, he will not sit in Galilee until the heavens are open to him. Until God release unto him the requisite anointing to do what God has called him to do. We noted that after he's been filled with the Holy Spirit, we said anointing that is untested cannot be certified with power. As if I'm a ruler, not that, no, go name by you, Lunte, Beluagara. And unless God had certified our anointing, it does not become a power for ministry. Tian Winnie, we pay, Tia Bashi, we pay, Oluati fee, only low, I eat two jade, and so you are quality, Tiagara, for share or share. So this morning, Tolina Laroy will be looking at. Releasing, releasing the anointing. How ma wo titu jade if I'm your ruler and how to maintain the anointing. Ati ona ti alikba she itojure. How does the anointing get to flow? Ba woni if I'm your ruler ne ma she de di titu jade and how does it get to be released? Ba woni ashe she titu jade re and how do we? maintain the anointing on our heads. 
praise the Lord. And because of the few issues that the Holy Spirit will be asking us to look into today, we will again take a little of illustration from several servants of God. And we will learn lessons from those who succeeded. We will learn lessons from those who failed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One of the things that we began to say yesterday is that the anointing is specific and is is particular for individuals. It is not something that just generally falls on everybody. Even though God is willing to release his anointing on everybody, but there are things that God is looking for before he can release the anointing. We saw that Jesus had to fulfill all righteousness before the heavens became opened unto him. Which means there are all righteousness that we need to fulfill in order for the anointing to break forth on our lives. Now, we're going to go gradually from the word of God. We're going to take a little understanding from the life of the Old Testament priests. How do we know what God established as the manner of the release of the anointing. And as we look at that, we will look at how we will prepare for the anointing to be released upon our lives. We will notice that I said yesterday that God does not give all the anointing he wants to give a man in one day. Anointing on a man's life is progressive. It grows as your assignment grows. It grows as God finds you that you are passing your examination. There is the initial anointing that God gives a man. As if it is the first installment of anointing. And as God checks a man's operation within that scope of anointing. Whether he has been faithful in that which he has been given, God considers a greater release. 
and the release expands him, expands his scope, expands his responsibility. And every dimension of anointing that must be increased in a man's life demands a further qualification for it. So, but this morning, we will start by quickly looking at the initial preparation. And as we look at the initial preparation, we look at the release. We look at the expansion. Then we look at how to maintain yourself in the anointing. Let's turn our Bibles to Exodus. Can we go to chapter 30? Exodus. Exodus. Chapter, chapter 30. It will have been good for us to read from verse 17. Yeah. Odara Fua, Latika, Latia, say, get at the logo. But because we may not have all the time, we will keep jumping until we get to verse 33, where we want to start, where we want to stop. Hallelujah. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, you shall make a lava of brass. And his foot also of brass. To wash with her. And thou shalt put it between the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar. And thou shalt put water therein. For Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet thereat. Nitori Aroni Ati Awan Mare. Yo ma we awama at yes and when they go into the tabernacle of the congregation they shall wash with water. Niba Tomaba why not? Niba Tomaba why no abu adolo wolf you me we kiwa kiuma babu and when they come near to the altar to minister to burn offering made by fire unto the Lord. Then they shall wash their hands and their feet that they die not. It shall be a statute forever to them, even to him and to his seed throughout their generation. You see, Moreover, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take also unto you principal spices of pure mare, 500 shekels, of five cinnamon, half so much, even 250 shekels, of sweet calamus, 250 shekels. <laughs> And the ointment compound 
after the act of apothecary, it shall be an holy anointing oil. Thou shalt anoint the tabernacle of the congregation therewith and the ark of the testimony. And the table and all the vessels and the candlestick and its vessels and the altar of incense. Verse 29 And thou shalt sanctify them that they may be most holy whatsoever touches them shall be holy. And thou shalt sanctify them that they may be most holy